let's get started. All right. So I'm going over Ansible, roles, and Ansible Galaxy, what they are, and how to use them. Very basic, nothing too in depth. This is gonna get you started, so you can begin to use roles in your playbooks. And maybe how to use Ansible Galaxy. All right, so we left off in the last stream, last video. Um, we went over the copy module and how to use it to copy files uh, from your control node to your manage nodes and also from manage node uh, to within the same manage node. Uh, and we also went over the host group, the host vars and the group vars uh, directory structure and how we can use those um, to assign variables uh, in different ways. So in this one, like I said, we're going to go over Ansible roles and Ansible Galaxy, what those two things are, how they relate to each other, and how we might be able to use them in our project. So if I come to the documentation for Ansible, uh, let's start off with uh, Ansible ro roles, right? So storing and finding uh, roles. By default, Ansible looks for roles in two locations. So Ansible is going to look for a role in a directory called roles slash with its relative to the playbook file that you're running. So if we come back to uh, the project that we've been working in over here, if I run this uh, inventory, no, sorry. If I run the copy, copy module.yaml playbook or the Nginx deployment playbook, and I have a role specified within this playbook, Ansible is gonna look within this directory first for a directory called roles for that role. And if it's not gonna find it there, it's then gonna look in Etsy Ansible roles right here. And if we can't find it in either of those, it's just gonna fail out because it can't find the role. So to get started, I always like to create a directory in the same directory as my playbook, playbooks, and call it um, roles. You don't have to do it this way. You can certainly uh, store your role in Etsy Ansible roles. Um, but this is how I normally do things when I'm creating a, a playbook on the fly or creating a uh, repository that I then want to push to like an SCM system such as GitHub. Uh, CD into roles here. Now roles have a specific structure, right? Um, so if we come to the documentation, um, you'll see there's like a whole, uh, where is it? There's a role directory structure section here. And basically you can have all these files and all these directories uh, included in your role, but they're not all uh, required, right? So an Ansible role is defined structure with eight main standard directories. You must include at least one of these directories within each role. You can omit any that the role does not use, right? So within my role, if I have a role called common, if I just want to use tasks and I don't need any of these other directories, I can leave them out. But these are the standard directories here, right? So real quick, we'll go over Ansible Galaxy in a second. But if I wanted to create a role, very quickly in Ansible, I'm going to use the ansible-galaxy command, and we're going to do an init, or actually role, init, so we're going to initialize a role, and then whatever we want to call it, right? So if I want to call this role, um, let's call it copy, no, copy, yeah, we'll just call it the copy files role, right? So within whatever directory that I run the Ansible Galaxy role in it, the name of my role, command in, it is automatically going to create that role directory structure within that directory. So we can see over under my roles directory now, I have created a entire role here, right? So if I ls, so there's copy files, right? And that's what it's 
uh, in right now. It looks a little weird here on the left because it's the only directory here. Like if I make directory called temp here, well, it's gonna fix that structure there. So it looks a little less weird now. Um, but it created the copy files role directory structure for me so I don't have to remember how it's supposed to be lined out. And remember, you don't need to do it that way. You can certainly just uh, create a directory with your role name and create a file in it called tasks and add directories as you need, right? Um, but this is a good good way of standardizing it. So uh, you saw I used the command ansible-galaxy. Uh, so what is ansible galaxy and what does that mean? So in ansible, we have this thing called ansible galaxy and it's this public repository, this public website where you can develop a role or a collection of roles and you can upload it here for other people to download, right? So it's a way of sharing what you've done, right? So if just an, as an example, if I come over here and I go to system, um, you can search around for different roles you might need. Uh, I'm on Ubuntu, so I'm gonna go over here to popular platforms. And maybe I want Gearling guys, uh, pip uh, module, right? So, or pip role, excuse me. So um, it's as easy as, as just looking for what you need within the Ansible Galaxy uh, server. And then if you wanted to download this, right, you could just copy this. You could come over here and do an Ansible Galaxy install. And it's automatically gonna download the role for you, right? So once you've come over here and you've run that command and you've downloaded that role, you can see where it's uh, being downloaded from, where it's being extracted to, right? So this has been put in my .ansible roles .pip directory uh, by default. So if you're interested in Ansible Galaxy and how to use it, how to upload your own roles and collections, there's tons of documentation on it uh, over on Red Hat's website. Not Red Hat, I'm sorry the Ansible documentation website, right? So you've got installing content, collections. Um, I'm in the Ansible Galaxy documentation section and there's creating roles, um, scoring, importing, release process, all that good stuff is here. So back to roles though, right? So you can either download a role from Ansible Galaxy or you can create your own your own role. So let's go over how uh, you might create your own role within Ansible. So you just saw the first step, first basic step. If you want the directory structure created for you, the, the, the standard directories, you run the Ansible Galaxy uh, role init and then the name of the role you wish to create, right? And then it gets created in that directory. And I'm just going to delete temp real quick. So we have a directory called tasks that is automatically going to be where within a role where the tasks that you're trying to accomplish are going to be right so this would be like you writing a playbook but just leaving out the play at the top of the playbook so for instance if my role was called install nginx i would just copy all of these tasks right and i would place them within the task directory main.yaml and those would be the tasks for the role we get a templates directory by default so if we want to use the template module jinja2 syntax this is where we would um, store our templates right so in an earlier video we created a templates uh, directory for our playbook to use the template module with so in, within the role, we would just put these temp, templates into the uh, templates directory. And then we have a few other directories here that are, uh, we have handlers, meta, defaults, and tests. And those are a little more advanced. We'll go over those a lot later in the Ansible episodes. Um, but for right, we also have vars. And for right now, all you need to know to get started with roles are tasks, templates, and vars and files um, if you choose to write because sometimes we want to copy things that don't work well with Jinja syntax um, so we want to put those in files instead of 
uh, templates if we don't need to um, do any uh, Jinja formatting with those templates. So the vars directory has a main.yml as well. And this is where you would put any variables that need to be included uh, in your role. Let's create the role. So within the task directory, we've got a main.yml and this is we're gonna put our tasks, right? So we're just gonna start naming our tasks here. So we're gonna copy templates to host. So we're gonna copy templates to our managed nodes using the template module. And the source is going to be template1.j2. And this template is gonna be taken automatically. We don't have to define a full path or, or we don't have to define templates slash because it's a role and it's going to by default look in the templates directory. So create a new file, template1.j2. So that's the name of the source template. And we're just going to define a variable in here, right? Oh, and this is going to be, let's say, um, text example, All right? So I have a Jinja2 template called template one with a variable in it. And the variable is text example. So I'm gonna be using source template one. I'm gonna put it on my manage nodes. We're gonna put it in slash temp. We're gonna call it template. Uh, let's just call it host so we can differentiate from the name of the source file. And that's it, that's it for that role, right? Uh, as far as tasks are go, we still have to define this variable for the Jinja2 template somewhere within our role, right? Uh, so just to start off, we're going to define it here. So this was text example was our variable. And I'm just going to call this, let's do the classic hello world, I guess. All right. So now I've got my role called copy files. The tasks have been defined in the task directory so we're going to copy template one to the temp directory on the manage node as template host here's our template again using the text example variable which you defined within the role vars directory as hello world so now i'm going to come over to my playbook here right and i'm going to get ahead and get rid of this tasks section Oh man, my Visual Studio Code does not like me today. Whoa. There we go. All right. So there's multiple ways to call a role with an Ansible. There's static and dynamic, right? We're going to go over the most basic way. So we're just going to say roles here within our playbook. And then we're going to start naming our roles that we would like to call. So I'm going to call my copy. Oh, can't spell copy files role. And that should be all I need. So now if I run this playbook against my workers group, it should call the copy files role. So let's go ahead and test that theory. So we'll do an Ansible dash playbook. Yes, I want inventory two because that's where the workers group is defined. I believe, let me make sure. Workers, yes. And we are using the copy module playbook where we're calling a role. Oh, damn it, I lost it. There we go. And dash K, capital K, um, to be asked for our pseudo password. So this should copy our template with our text to all three of the worker nodes in the workers group.
and we're done. So, just to make sure, let me SSH over to Case Worker 01. And let's CD in the temp. And we have a template host file. And we have our text that we set in the variable. So, that, in a nutshell, is how to create a very basic role and how to use that role. So you could be asking, okay, why did I do it this way? Why didn't I, why didn't I just um, do all of this? Uh, why didn't I just do this task inside of my playbook, right? Well, sometimes you'll have roles, right? If I wanted to create this Nginx deployment playbook as a role, right? And I wanted to reuse it, that's what roles are for. Roles are a way you create something you want to do in Ansible into a role and then you can reuse it modularly in multiple playbooks right so if i had a playbook here called um build i don't even know build east servers yaml and then i had another playbook here called build west servers dot yaml um, these two uh, playbooks could be significantly different right they could have my east servers might have different um, configurations different compliance standards they need to meet right then my west servers but they might have uh, their firewall rules might be the same right in which case I might create a role with my firewall rules the way I would like them. And then I could just call that role in my East and West uh, playbook without having to rewrite that whole role or copy paste that whole role into both playbooks. And it keeps my playbook smaller. So it's a way of cleanly, neatly taking your code out of the playbooks, putting it somewhere else and neatly referencing it, right? Think of it as like importing functions in Python. You could put the entire function and everything that goes with it into your Python code, in your script, but it's easier to segment that all out and just import those functions. It can, and it keeps your code cleaner and easier to read for the person who comes behind you. Yeah, and so I think, so I think that's it for today. Actually, that was a pretty short one. Yeah, um, that's how you use Ansible roles, the basics, and your introduction to Ansible Galaxy. So now you know it exists.